Ontario is set to go on a charm offensive following Trump's big win. Premier Doug Ford and Economic Development Minister Vic Fideli saying government representatives will head down south to protect jobs and promote trade. Trump has criticized electric vehicles, but Ford says they're the future. The president uh, knows that 9 million Americans wake up every morning to produce products to ship to Ontario. And we're the third largest trading partner in the world. Ontario is a $500 billion every year split down the center. We're the number one trading partner to 17 states, number two to 11 other states. And we have something that uh, they, they'll always want, and that's our critical minerals and our energy. We need each other uh, in order for our both economies to grow. We really do need each other. They need manufacturing, clean energy from Ontario in the future from uh, our clean nuclear. Uh, our critical minerals, they don't uh, have lithium, cobalt and nickel in any abundance there. We do in Ontario and so they're going to need that in both their EV and their defence sectors. The Premier and his minister, just one of many Canadian politicians weighing in on the US election today. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also offering his thoughts, giving Trump congratulations on the victory and so is the Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland. Lots of work for us to do, and I'm looking forward to doing it. Uh, on our side, we've been preparing for this. We're looking forward to doing this work, uh, and uh, we're going to make sure that this extraordinary friendship and alliance between Canada and the United States continues. Canada will be absolutely fine. We have a strong relationship with the United States. We have a strong relationship with President Trump and his team. Let's remember that our trading relationship today is governed by the trade deal concluded by President Trump himself and his team. Trudeau and Freeland's comments come as business leaders voice concerns about Trump's protectionist policies, including a promise to introduce a universal 10% tariff on all American imports. A Canadian Chamber of Commerce report released last month suggested those tariffs would shrink the Canadian economy, resulting in around $30 billion per year in economic costs. Talks are coming up on the Canada-United States-Mexico agreement, which came into effect in 2020 under the previous Trump presidency. The deal is up for review in 2026 and Trump has vowed to renegotiate it.